head lean. Relax your shoulders, let your elbows hang. Slight right. Ah, here we go. So go ahead and blast your own music at home. Just have one earbud with me, music in the background, or music in your ear, and me in the background. Either or. I probably won't do too much talking once I start breathing heavy. All right, every minute on the minute, we're making changes. We're gonna start right off with some big hills. Ooh, I'm already breathing heavy. All right, so we're on a flat road, of course, doing our warm up. It's gonna take us about four minutes to get that warm up going. We got 10 seconds. All right, slight right. So make sure you have some resistance under those feet. Relax your shoulders, let your elbows hang. Scoot your butt back in the saddle. As we conclude these first four minutes, I'm definitely breathing heavy. So hopefully you're warmed up too. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, scale one to 10. This hill is a one. Start pushing hard. Don't slow down. Not yet. Plenty of time for that later. Don't slow down. This is still the easy part. Ah. Relax your shoulders, elbows hang, hips back over the saddle. Resume. Seated climb. Not recovering, come on. It's only a three. All right, 30 seconds. Thank <laughs> you. 
Don't slow down yet. Resume. Setting up our Tabata clock. There's one. First time is 10 seconds. Okay. So we need, oh, can't see. We need a wall to sit against. Whew. But, and I do mean but as in buttocks. We're going to be doing a butt hip drill. When you go down, I want you to go super wide with those legs, turn those toes out. Oh, I'm sweating in my eyes again. You're gonna come down as low as you can. Try to get parallel to the floor. Then we're gonna pulse those knees backwards as you hinge forward. So from the side, we look like this. Okay, so the only thing touching the wall is our buttocks. Ready? Take it in. Push back, push back, push back, push back. So wall sit, pushing back. Those knees, squeeze your butt tight. How low can I go? I think I can go a little bit lower. Okay. On your backs. Starfish sit-ups. Touch. Toes. Not shoelaces. Not ankles. Not shins. Toes. And if you have long arms or you're really flexible, <laughs> You're lucky. 
All right, back to the wall. So walk those feet out to the side, really, really far. And push. Get all the way down, parallel. Hinge forward, push those knees back. Keep the chest up, keep breathing. We're almost there. All right. On the flow, here we go. down and back, trying to approach parallel to the ground. Make sure you are not rolling forward on the big toe or the ball of your foot. Get that baby toe down. All right, let's go about that. Clock, so I had to get a new clock, but I have not been able to figure out how to work it. <laughs> There's all kinds of functions. I like push the button, but I can't make it make any sound. So we left on a big hill, remember that? This hill is still five, three, four, yep, five. It's a five. So that means we're at 50% of your maximal effort today. Uh. 
Get that butt back in your saddle. Shoulders hang. Open the chest. Lengthen the neck. Extend through the spine. Yeah. Almost there. Seven. Ah. Woo. Ah. Slap right. Eight. We're almost there. Ah. This is high as we're gonna go. Right. Everything you can do at this speed. Don't slow down. Woo! Halfway there. Resume. Ah. Slight left. Give me an eight.
Resume. Take it down and notch again. Seven. And run. Resume. Slight left, go. Come on, we can do this. Resume. Woo. Yeah. One more. Returning to five. Resume. Good thing I double checked. I had set 20 minutes instead of 20 seconds. All right. So this time, plunges need some demonstration. 20 seconds of plunges.
to the floor, side plank on your forearm. Again, you could stack, you could place the top leg in front, you could put your bottom knee on the floor, but what you can't do is pike, get that butt forward, squeeze that tushy. Back to plunges. So, I have noticed a lot of tight hip flexors. And if you're doing your abs wrong, you're really going to make it a lot harder on yourself. I mean, we do enough sitting all day. So think of it as already being a piked position. Be as long as you can. Keep those hips as open as you can, all right? Just like always, straight line, ears, shoulders, hips, all right? This is not a straight line, this is. Do you remember when 20 seconds of plunges was like the death of us? There was no way nine months ago I could have talked through 20 seconds of plunges. It's like a daily occurrence here. Straight line, hips forward. Squeeze that butt. you get water, I will set up a minute, zero, a minute, zero, back of the bike. Alright, so we left on a five. I did not forget that. We are on a hill. Slide back in the saddle, relax your shoulders, open up the chest, lengthen the neck. I gotta take my glasses off. Pull and breathe. Push with the balls of your feet. Not your toes, not your heels, not your arches. Balls of the feet. Forward and down, making circles. Keep your midsection tight. There's no jiggling. Push through the hips, all the way down the legs. But make sure you initiate it in your midsection, not here. 
Don't push up your upper body to arms. Relax. Okay, slight left. This hill has now become a four. So yes, we turn to the left, but we're still on a hill. Ah. It's just not as steep. Do not fall behind. Stay in front. Do not recover. Whew. Ah.
Only 30 seconds, starting at five. Recover. Ah, I keep staring, Poppy. Come here. He's okay. He's okay. I know. You want to go help. She keeps going in there to get help for me. They shut the door. And then she barks at them. Hey. <laughs> That lady in there is dying. <laughs> it's okay. I'm okay. Woo! 15 more seconds, and we're doing 30 second sprint, one minute recovery. Woo! Gave myself a headache on that one. Ready? Go!
seconds. 15 seconds, back to work. Last one, Bobby. This is it. Yay. Ready? Get set. Go. Grab your water. All right, so we've got power sumo squats or sumo jumps. Remember when we had our butt against the wall and we worked on pushing those knees back? I want you to make sure those knees are back, not just on your way down. I am super proud. Everybody's like, okay, I got it. But on the way up too. Remember, working against gravity curves on the way up. So you have to have those knees out on the way up. We've gotten super conscientious of the joint impact on the way down. But what if I was doing a squat? Wouldn't you want on the way up to have your knees out? All right, so. It's not just the negative, but it's also the positive that you have to have those knees out on your squats. Sumos and reverse, no, I like groiners, huh? Groiners, groiners, groiners. Starting in five seconds. Sumos it is. Knees out. possibly been 20 seconds, right? It says 20 seconds. Really? All right. All right. We're doing grinders. Oh. On the floor. So, here. Here or here? That felt a little bit more like 20. <laughs> Shoulders over the hands. So really work that groin, okay? It's a dynamic groin stretch. Shoulders 
over the hands. Don't go into a down dog. You can do a hip lift, hip dip, but just don't get those shoulders beyond the wrists. All right? Woo. Big difference between a down dog and a hip lift. Shoulders over the hands. I felt that. Stretch. Right heel at the bottom, toe up high, pull that hip bone forward. So you're stacked ear, shoulder, hip, knee, and ankle. Ooh. Hi, Poppy. Is there something I have that you might like? Bang! Bang! All the way. All the way dead. Bang! All the way dead. All the way dead. <laughs> so I am not rolling over. Switch. Whew. So while Allison was out of town, I babysat her just daycare. And one day, she come right in the door and dad dropped her off. Right, ball, left, ball, sit, lay down, roll over, play dead. Right, ball, left, ball, roll over, sit down, lay dead. She did every trick in the book. So I went to the fridge, I'm like, man, she's hungry. Maybe he forgot to feed her. So I gave her a bowl of dog food, and I texted her dad, and I said, did you forget to feed Poppy? He goes, uh, no. She ate the cat food, her food, and then came and ate more food entries. Yes, you got so fat while mom was gone. Oh, yes, you did. So well worth it. Oh, to be a dog. Well, we bust our asses off to have the muscular structure that you have and the jaw structure. <laughs> okay, right, right, right hand, hold set. Knees together. Now, see how I'm hiking my hips? Squeeze your butt. Damn, good girl. 
And switch. <laughs> right. Ooh. Again, my butt's sticking out. Push the hip bones forward. Squeeze the butt tight. Oh, I feel that quadricep stretch. In search of more treats. I hear the police outside. Probably not a good sign. All right, on your tummies. Yes, upward facing dog, just like she demonstrated. Open up, open up your chest, shoulders down and back. Squeeze that bottom tight, opening up the hip flexors. Whew. And child's pose. Open up your knees as far as you can. <sighs> now see if you can slide them out just a little bit more. Then bring your hips north of your knees, just a little bit. Open up those hips, open up that groin. Ooh. And knees together. Return to that child's pose. And take your towel, slide it forward. Open up those armpits, booty up in the air. Whew. I'm still sore from our upper body workout. And on our hands and knees. Right here, take your right foot forward, drop into a lunge, opening up the hips, then take that knee, plop it out to the side, opening up, ah, that hip joint. Get in there. Wiggle, wiggle, jiggle, jiggle. I promise you there's going to come a time that you can do this and go, oh, I remember this used to hurt. I remember back in April, these used to hurt. Not no more. I promise you, your day will come. Oh, shift those hips back, hamstring stretch. Ah. Extend the spine as best you can. If your arms are too short to reach the floor, put them on a coffee table. Flex and point. Oh. I can feel my sciatic nerve. I don't feel it so much in my butt, but I feel it in my calf when I do that. Hmm, not anymore, went away. Oh, all better. And switch sides. <sighs> Again, giant step forward, other leg. Drop the hip bones down. Open up that back leg, open up the hip flexors. Now with that front leg, let's drop it over to the side. Again, all my weight is on my arms. This side is tighter than the other. 
problem. Whew. into it and hamstring stretch Ooh. shoot those hips back again point that tailbone behind you like a finger stick it out point to the wall behind you with that bum extend the spine like some point yeah Ooh, yep, this side feels a lot more of everything. Oh, and knees together. Go ahead and Sit on your feet, stretch the front of your shin, anterior tibialis, as we circle shoulders back for three, two, one, take a deep breath up, out, big social distance hug. I hope you have a great weekend and I hope to see you tomorrow.